Howdy folks, Jeremy and I are here today to try some Texas treats and soda pops, courtesy of our friends Sam and Chris. How does that sound, bub? Yes. We've got a couple of cans of flavored soda here, and we were supposed to have three bags of chips. However, one bag unfortunately didn't survive the journey and exploded inside the box. And it was close, but one of the cans of flavored soda nearly suffered the same fate. RIP to the apple pie flavored chips. Um, they sounded good, but um, you know what? I'm gonna try some of the remnants down inside the bag and let's just give them a try here. I like apple pie and I like potato chips, but the two should not be combined. Before we go any further, I want to give a shout out to this video sponsor, Hunt Killer. What do you think of Hunt Killer, Bubba? Cool. Do you like solving intricate puzzles and twisting mysteries? Ever wanted to put yourself in the shoes of your favorite big screen or small screen detective? With Hunt Killer, you get to be the detective, sorting through evidence, piecing together clues, and solving the case in an immersive murder mystery game. Pick from standalone single part crime cases or subscription and episodic boxes featuring various game styles, difficulty levels, and storylines. Just like a real detective, you work to establish means, motives, and opportunities in order to figure out who the killer is and solve the case. Hunt a Killer is perfect for crime, mystery, thriller, and horror fans. I have the multi-part Blair Witch Box set. Box 1 includes a case file with various police documents, a map of Burkittsville, and evidence such as this bracelet with a tooth attached. And just like that, you're off and running, investigating the disappearance of a young man named Liam Kent at his desperate mother's behest. Each subsequent box takes you deeper into the mystery, providing additional evidence and clues sure to send many a chill up your spine. The quality of the game materials and the attention to detail is ridiculous. Everything looks and feels completely authentic. Hunt a Killer is optimized for groups of two to four people, but one person can go at it lone wolf style if you think you're up for the challenge. Can you solve the disappearance of Liam Kent in the Black Hills of Burkittsville? Do you dare test the Blair Witch's curse? If so, follow the link in the description and take advantage of three unique promo codes to get 10% off any order or up to 20% off a six or 12 month subscription. Happy hunting. So these chips and sodas are from HEB, which I do believe is a, a Texas-based uh, supermarket. We don't have any HEB stores around here, so I don't know if they're just sort of localized in Texas and maybe the surrounding states, but um, these are limited edition HEB uh, sodas and chips Let's start with the sodas. What do you say, Bubba? Yes. First up, we have got a candy cane flavored soda pop. So what do you think, Bubba? You think candy cane flavored soda is going to be good? Yes. Well, we're going to give it a try. Here is your can. Now, wait. Let it, let it stay there for a moment. I've got this nearly exploded can of candy cane <laughs> soda that I'm going to be pouring into my Jason glass. So let me... See if I can get this open here. All right, here we go. And for all you ASMR fans, here is the pour. All right, that is definitely, that is a red soda. That kind of reminds me of big red soda a, a little bit. The, the the color of it. Blood. 
it 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 does it, it's a little blood like yeah and it definitely it smells like a candy cane so human go ahead. blood you think this is human blood yes well o- open it up and try it and and <laughs> of course we're assuming that you just know what human blood tastes like what what are you thinking so far bub taste <laughs> All right, so Jeremy has <laughs> drank some of his um, candy cane soda. He's made a little bit of a mess with it. It smells just like a candy cane. Here's my first sip. Chucky blood. You th- do you think it tastes like Chucky blood? Candyman blood. Candyman blood? It... <laughs> It tastes a little bit like medicine to me, like a, like cough syrup or something. Got a little bit of that cough syrupy kind of medicine-y flavor, more so than candy cane uh, flavor. Yeah, I, I, what do you think, bub? Cool. Do you like it? Yes. You, you like the candy cane flavored soda? Okay. Um, I'm... Yeah, hmm. I don't think I like it. It's very medicine-y. It smells like a candy cane, but it tastes like cough medicine. Are you done with your soda, Bubba? Yes. You don't want any more? Yes. Are you going to finish it, or are you, are you done finish with it? Finish it. Okay, go ahead and finish it. We've got two different kinds of chips here. We've got honey-flavored restaurant-style tortilla chips. Bubba, I know you're a huge fan of tortilla chips. Whenever we go to the Mexican restaurant, he can eat like a whole basket of these all by himself. These are the HEB Limited Edition Honey Sopapilla restaurant style tortilla chips. And we have HEB Limited Edition Holiday Stuffing. Stuffing flavored ridged potato chips. Let's save these for last, Bubba. Let's save those for later. I just don't think those are going to taste very good. So let's try the honey uh, tortilla chips. What do you say? Cool. All right, here we go. Now, Bubba, go ahead and get you some tortilla chips out of there. What do you think? Cool. These are pretty good. You know another one? All we need is some salsa, Bubba. And we'd be um we'd be in pretty good shape, I think. Another one? So you can definitely taste the honey flavoring, but it's not like overwhelmingly honey. Um, or overwhelmingly honey-ish. You can still taste the the tortilla chip. The essence of the tortilla chip is still there. It's just um, got a little honey on it. Yes. And it, they're pretty good, right? Right. Y- you liking them? Yes. You want some more? Yes. Okay. All right, so we've put the tortilla chips aside for right now. How do you rate the tortilla chips? Two thumbs up. I agree. I give the tortilla chips two thumbs up. I almost forgot. What do you rate the candy cane soda pop? Two thumbs up. Okay. Jeremy's giving the candy cane soda two thumbs up. I'm going to give it thumbs down. Not a fan of it. Way too medicine flavored. But the honey-flavored tortilla chips, very good. We agree. Two thumbs up on both of those. We've got some pumpkin cream sodas here. Um, I'm not a huge fan of pumpkin, but I'm going into it with optimism. 
as long as it doesn't taste like medicine, I think I'm going to be okay. So here's your pumpkin cream soda. Hold on just one second. I've washed out my glass. So all you ASMR fans, you're going to get a daily double here. Here's another pour. Alrighty. Look at that. Look at that thick amber coloring. That looks like some sort of amber Bach uh, uh, drink that we won't name in front of Jeremy. Um, but um, yeah, very thick amber color. I like the smell. Go ahead and crack it open, Bubba. What do you think? Cool. You like it? Yes. You are making a mess, bub. Jeremy is so excited. He's like a Viking drinking grog after a, a, a hard fought battle. And it, it's just, it just goes everywhere, right? Right. What does a Viking say? Close enough. I'm shocked because I really like the, the pumpkin cream soda. This is actually really good. What what do you think of the pumpkin cream soda, bub? Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Is that four thumbs up? Two thumbs okay, up. Okay, two thumbs up. He said two thumbs up back to back so rapidly. I thought maybe he was giving them giving it four thumbs up. It's it's definitely got a pumpkin flavor, but it's not overly pumpkin. It, it's it's a very good balance of the pumpkin and the cream. It's smooth. It's refreshing. I like it. What do you say? Cool. Yeah. This is, I don't know if I would drink this regularly, but I would certainly add it to the rotation. I think it's pretty good. I'm going to give the pumpkin cream soda two thumbs up also. Oh goodness. This is going to be a trial. Grab those chips. Holiday stuffing flavored potato chips. Do you remember a couple of years ago when we tried the um, Thanksgiving flavored candy corn? Do you or did you block that from your memory? I have to remember. Yeah, I, I wish I could because those candies were unbelievably bad. And if I recall correctly, the worst of the worst was the stuffing flavored candy corn. So, I don't know. Holiday stuffing, potato chips. I feel like I need to cross myself, but I'm not even Catholic, so. Oh. Oh, that smell. You try them first, Bob. What do you think? Cool. All right, here we go. Wait a minute. These are really good. You know some more? Yes. These are really good. So what do you think about the holiday stuffing chips, bub? Two buns down. You didn't like? You don't like them? Nope. Oh, okay. All right. Jeremy is giving the stuffing flavored potato chips two thumbs down. I'm going to give them... I'm going to give them two thumbs up. I think they're actually really good. I'm, I'm shocked at how good these are, considering that they're stuffing flavored. Um, there's a really nice mixture of spices, and these are ridged potato chips, so they've got a thickness to them. 
Um, I, I, I'm, I'm giving them two thumbs up. I, I'm surprised, Bubba. You're, you're giving them two thumbs down. Yes. You wait. Do you want more? No. Okay. So what did you prefer? The pumpkin cream soda or the candy cane soda? Candy cane soda. You preferred the candy cane soda. Okay. Well, here's the rest of your can of candy cane soda. Knock yourself out. You can have what's left of my can too. And you gave the tortilla chips two thumbs up and the stuffing chips two thumbs down. Yes. Okay. So Jeremy liked it. We're, we're, it. Wow. So we both liked the pumpkin cream soda. We both gave it two thumbs up. Jeremy liked the candy cane soda. He gave it two thumbs up. I was not a fan. I gave it two thumbs down. We both liked the tortilla chips. I liked the stuffing potato chips. I'm still shocked. I gave them two thumbs up. Jeremy gave them two thumbs down. So who would you like to share a can of the candy cane flavored soda with? Shemp Howard. Shemp Howard. Okay. What do you think Shemp would say about the candy cane flavored soda? Me, me, me. Okay. Who would you like to share some of the honey flavored tortilla chips with? Bart Simpson. Bart Simpson. Okay. What do you think Bart would say about the chips? Ah, caramba. Who would you want to share a can of the pumpkin cream soda with? Jerry Lewis. Jerry Lewis. Okay. All right. Who would you want to share a bag of the <laughs> stuffing flavored chips with? Bugs Bunny. Bugs Bunny. You think Bugs Bunny would like those? Yes. Uh, it, probably. So this has been quite an interesting uh, taste test slash food and beverage review. Uh, thanks to our friends, Sam and Chris down in Texas. Thank you guys for sending us this little care package of uh, H-E-B goodies. Uh, we appreciate it. And uh, yeah, it was pretty cool, huh? Yes. So thank you, Sam and Chris. Thank you, Sam and Chris. I think now would be a good time to remind everybody of our Christmas stream, which is happening on the 23rd, beginning at 1 p.m. Eastern time, right? Right. Jeremy and I will both be in costume. Jeremy will be Santa Jeremy. I will be his... Very large elf. <laughs> Jeremy's going to be opening gifts that were sent to him by some very generous, very awesome viewers. We'll be shooting the bull. And Jeremy will be absolving people of their naughtiness, right? Right. So all you have to do is just ask for absolution from all your naughty ways. And Santa Jeremy may grant you absolution. Or he may deny it. I don't know. Just depends on what kind of mood Santa Jeremy is in. Because Santa Jeremy can be moody, right? Right. Now, have you been naughty or nice this year? Nice. You've been nice all year? Yes. You're absolutely positive? Positive. You've not performed one naughty deed this year? Nope. Not even when you came down and woke me up at like 7 o'clock in the morning... On a Saturday or a Sunday, I don't remember, to sing the Shocker song from the movie Shocker. Shocker! That one? Exactly. You don't think that was a naughty deed? Naughty deed. Do you think that was naughty or nice? Nice. Tell me some of the other nice deeds that you've done this year to cement your name on Santa's nice list. Give me an example of one one other nice deed you've done this year. Nice. You, you've, you've performed so many nice deeds that you can't even really think of just one, right? You've done so many. Yes. Nice guy Jeremy, right? Right. Yep. Nice all year long. Not one single solitary naughty deed, right? Right. Wow. That's quite a record, Bubba. Quite a record. I'm proud of you. Proud of you. I'm very proud of you. So what do you want to tell everybody out there, Bub? Thank the watching. What else? Who? Oh. Say, well, follow us on, on social media. media. Say, we love you guys. Okay. Say, take care. Yeah. Say, be good. Say, we hope you're having a great holiday season. season. Say, we'll see you again yeah. real soon. Yeah. Say, take care. Yeah. Say, be well. Be well. Say, um, happy holidays. Happy holidays. Say, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Say, peace. Peace.
Thank you to all my patrons and channel members. I appreciate your generosity and support of my channel. Become a patron today and have a say in what content appears on my channel. Join me for monthly live streams and much more. Become a channel member today and get access to exclusive badges and emotes to use when I stream. Both those links are in the description. Say hello to the internet, Jeremy. Hello to the internet.